My name is Stephanie Klein Albrandt. I am 51 now and I have a 19 year old son and my partner is based, well, both of us are, are living in DC and for treatment, we came to New York. My career in my life was, I worked on really some of the world's most intractable conflicts and human rights violation situations around the world uh, for like 25 years working for the United Nations, for the US government. So my hobbies, let's see, I love cycling. I'm a yogi, so I do a lot of yoga and that's been really helpful through this throughout the whole diagnosis and treatment process. I love scuba diving. Um, I recently jumped out of a plane skydiving in Hawaii with uh, my son who signed us up. I was diagnosed at stage four and the date I was diagnosed was late February and early March 2021. So I had some minor fatigue and I had some involuntary weight loss. And then the thing that really set me, like that made me know that something was wrong is I noticed that I had really dark urine. And right then I called telehealth and we were in like rural Vermont and I was sent to like a mountain clinic and they did an ultrasound and they did my blood work and the blood work came back, you know, with very alarming liver enzyme numbers. And the ultrasound was super expedited back to Washington, D.C. So it was clear that there was something amiss. They found a tumor of approximately 11 by 8 centimeters. This is the hallmark of this disease, right? Is that it's often hard to catch it until it's, it's very late stage. One of the like bright, let's say lights is the Cholangiocarcinoma Foundation. So immediately like the, the you know, huge amount of information, the, in particular, the information on molecular profiling. I actually have the FGFR2 mutation, so that was important information to know what to look for. The lists of doctors um, that are specialized in this disease, and then the, all the, the, the exchange, you know, the ability for patients to use the boards to exchange information, and then the first conference, which I was able to join as well. That's how I found out about the, the foundation. And since then, I've just seen like how strong it is and how resourceful, um, it's really like a hub. The first thing I would tell newly diagnosed patients is to find a doctor specialized in this type of cancer, right? Um, I see through a lot of the different, um, you know, groups and boards and online communities of cholangiocarcinoma, just people that are not able to benefit from that type of, of expertise early on. And it's it's very hard to see the kinds of hardships they have, right? Cholangiocarcinoma is famously difficult to diagnose. So it's important to have uh, that specialized knowledge. I can bring it back to like, I've been spending my life traveling to different countries, right? So this is another journey. And this journey is an arduous journey. So. I never had the easy assignments, right? So I almost laugh with friends that it had to be like this kind of cancer. Being diagnosed with a terminal illness is just a reminder that we need to embrace the time that we have because there are no guarantees, right? And we should like live fiercely, love fiercely, live our values every day and not wait and put off things that we wanted to do, things that we wanted to tell people, ways that we wanted to be. You know, I feel that that's how we really contribute um, to this earth.